ready for that help tonight? You ready to be set free? You ready to be liberated? You ready to get rid of sin? I'm talking to you on television. You ready to get rid of that homosexuality? You tired of being a lesbian? Now you don't have to talk to the world for this. They in the church. That homosexual devil sitting on the organ in a lot of churches. Them old limp wrist people. Are you listening to me? Somebody says, I have a different lifestyle. You going to hell? You gotta have, you gotta be changed. God will make a man out of you. The first thing he'll do. You know what he'll do? He'll put you on the street called straight. I, you need to get on the street called straight. He'll straighten everything out. He'll make a woman out of you. He'll make a man out of you. He'll deliver you from sin. He'll set you free. Set you free from drug addiction, alcohol, nicotine. I'm talking about a God that'll change your life. Your hour has come. Shout yes! My, 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 my. Hallelujah! Sit down a minute. Lord, I feel this all over me tonight. Because the answer is on the way, and I refuse to give up. Of course it gets hot, but I'm looking for the answer. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Of course now, if you ain't saved, you're in a heap of trouble. If you're not saved, I'm surprised you ain't dead already. If you want to get within that ark of safety, hear me. I know some of you have come, some of you young folks have come because mama made you come. Thank God for mamas. I said, thank God for mamas. Thank God for dads. Make you come. You're there, but listen to me. You that are watching by television. God has your answer. You see that number on your screen, dial it. Some of you, you're getting your last call from God. Don't you let this camp meeting slip by without making your peace with God. Somebody thinks everybody here is saved. They're not all saved. Some are away from God, backslidden. Say, how do you know that? Because I was a backslider. I know what I'm talking about. God ain't going to give up on you. So you might as well surrender everything. That's what he's waiting for. I surrender all. He'll never leave you alone. He leaves the 99 safe ones and he goes after the one that left home. It's homecoming time. Shout yes. You in that overflow room, listen to me. You feel God tugging at your heart. I want you to get out of your seat and go to the front of that room. We have counselors there. I'm not counting, I'm not doing anything. You that are in this auditorium, you're away from God, but you want to get right with God. Get out of your seat and see how quick you can come down here. Your miracle's waiting for you here. Come on, move. Now's the time. See how quick you can come. This is your miracle night. Go ahead and sing while they come, will you? We'll give you an opportunity. Stand right here in front. Talk to you a moment, please, every one of you that have come forward. And we generally send people into the overflow room, but that thing's full. So you're going to have to do it right here. Look at me. Let me talk to you. This, what you're doing now, is the greatest decision you'll ever make in your life. 
It's more important than a wedding vow or a marriage vow. Marriage vow is only for life. What you're doing is forever. Everybody say forever. I have a secret belief. It's not the words, but it's the action God looks at. And that first step you took to come forward, God put a hook in your jaw and served notice on the devil and said, you can't have her anymore. You can't have him no longer. He's mine now. Your actions speak louder than words. But I want to put some words in your mouth, if you'll allow me to. Let me say this. God's not going to stop here with you. He's going to start with you. And he ain't going to quit until every member of your family gets saved. God said he's going to save you and your household. Every one of them. Every one. This is what he's going to do. Audience, I want you to raise your right hand with us, please. Everybody here, right hand raised. I want you to say this out loud, if you will, everybody. Say it from your heart. Say, Father. Father. You in our television audience, you repeat it in your home. Say, Father. Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I, come to you today, I come to you today. And I come as a sinner. I confess my sin and I repent of my sin Lord that means I turn my back on sin I made up my mind I'm going to serve the Lord and make heaven my home I'm through with the world I'm through with the flesh devil I'm through with you I choose Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Lord, I am weak. I confess that to you. So please, Jesus, by your Spirit, come into my life and live in me. Walk in me. Talk in me. Be my God. Let me be your child. Give me power over the devil. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. And use me to bring others to Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart. And I confess with my mouth. God raised Jesus from the dead. You said, if I believe that. And I confess that. You said, I'm saved. I am what God says I am. Did you hear that? That's good enough for me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Put up both hands and thank him now as I send the word of God to every member of your family. Holy Ghost, sick them. Put a hook in their jaw. Bring them to the bleeding side of Calvary. Don't stop until every member of that family comes to Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. I want every counselor in the building, all the preachers that are here, come around us here and help. We're going to pray right around here for a while. I think this is where we ought to do it. We can't send them anywhere. We're just going to come on down here. Every one of you that knows how to pray with somebody and lead somebody to the Lord, break through here, and we're going to pray. Sing a